Have you ever wondered if Canva Pro is actually worth it for animation or if it's just for making graphics? Most people think Canva Pro is just for static designs, but did you know you can actually use it to create realistic rain animations and more? I used one simple method inside Canva Pro and was able to create a realistic rain effect in under 15 minutes. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to make your own animated rain video, step by step, and reveal the one hidden Canva feature that makes the effect a lot longer than you might have thought possible. Stick around, because once you see this trick, you'll never look at Canva the same way again. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'll do is come to ChatGPT and I told it that I wanted to make a video of a cabin in the forest where it's raining, but I wanted to make sure that the raindrops are visible. I also said it could be a fall or winter day. But the first thing I need to make my video is a great image, so I need a detailed image prop to get started. Then it gave me this. I'll try this one. So I'll copy it and then go to Canva. So now I'm inside Canva. First, I'll go here to Canva AI and click on that. Here are some other choices, but for now, I'll close this. I will choose Create a Video Clip. Notice this is a pro feature because you see the crown, so I'll click on that. Then I'm going to put my prompt in here before I forget. All right, I could choose from any of these styles, but I don't think I will today. Next is Aspect Ratio. I'll choose 16 by 9 and then 8 seconds. For framing and lighting, I'll leave all those just as they are. I wanna take a second at this point to share this tip. If I wanted to, I could also click here and actually talk to Canvas and tell it what I wanted, but I'll experiment with that in another video. Since I've already got my prompt in here, I'm gonna click Submit. It's starting to generate it, and I'll come back here when it's finished. Okay, so it's done, but it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to see it with the porch, but let's play it and let's see what it looks like. Nice, so you can hear the raindrops, you can see them too, and there's a really huge fire in there, which is kind of scary. So I'm gonna go back here and change the prompt and try it again. So let me go back to ChatGPT. I've come here and changed the prompt a little bit. I asked ChatGPT to redo this for me. It just gave me this, so now it's included the wraparound porch. So yeah, I'll take this. I'm going to copy it and go back to Canva. For now, I'll leave the settings as is. Here's my new prompt, click on submit. I don't know if you realize this or not, but these videos that I'm making inside Canva right now using the pro plan are VO3 videos, which means not only does it have really great quality as far as the videos go, but it also has sound. So that's something really important to think about. If you wanna make videos and you have a Canva pro account, now you can use VO3 in here to do this. Okay, and now it's finished. That looks really good. So you can see we're on the front porch of a cabin. Nice. Check this out. You can see the raindrops here very clearly. So that one's a keeper. All right, so we'll take that. You could always come up with different prompts to create different videos. That's no problem. We'll go to the video for right now. Then take this page and stretch it. I'll just pull it like this. Right now it's almost a minute. Let's go for about two minutes. Just keep stretching it. Okay, so there's that. Next, I'll go to uploads. There's those two videos I just created. So let's grab this one and put it in here. All right, let's go back to the beginning and Canva should loop it pretty well, so let's watch. Remember, the original one was eight seconds long. In here, it repeats over and over. It looks great, but there's just a little bit of a hesitation that you can hear. To make it work without having to go in here and break this all up, I'm gonna save some time and go to Pixabay and search for rain sounds. I prefer a longer one. I also like to look for the ones that are made by Freesound. This one's five minutes long. That's perfect. Let's listen to it. Yes, that one will work. So I'll download it. If you want to read the license, you can do that here. Now I'll go back to Canva and upload it to add it to my video. Just keep watching. Once it's loaded in the video, I'll experiment with the volume level until I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna move my playhead all the way to the front. 
I want this new rain sound to cover the blank space in the loop without getting too loud. Time to experiment. You'll just have to play with it until it's what you want. So instead of going back and plugging up all the little silent holes, I decided to put one long rain sound here. Okay, so that's one way to do it. I just wanted to share this method with you, so if you're interested in making some videos like these for yourself, maybe you wanna have something to put on your TV for when you're working at home, reading, doing some work, or just for quiet time, maybe you wanna go to sleep, whatever, this would be something relaxing in the background. So now you know how to make a rainy day video inside Canva with the pro plan using VO3. The last thing you'll want to do is download this. Go to File, click Download, make sure MP4 is chosen, include all pages, then click Download. Here's the final product. Let me show it to you. So remember, this is four minutes long. I'll just play part of it. You can see the rain drips. So try this for yourself, and you might have a lot of fun making one of these. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.